I have a Japanese friend. I was working with her on the street in Taiwan, and then we passed by the the to, the tofu shop. She was like, "Oh my god, what's the smell? Of this is so scary!" I was like, "Ah, it's a tofu." <laughs> You know my English probably gonna be a little bit difficult to explain proper, so I hope people can understand. <laughs> meow meow. <laughs> you know the you know the beef noodle soup is very popular in Taiwan, and we have a few different kind of cook. So some of the soup is very clear, you can see inside, and some is with a red spicy, and both of them are really good. And you can choose some meat with a lot of fat or. Not a lot of fat. It's a sorry. It's a tender. So you can choose a meat with a tender and meat or just meat. And depends how you like. Because I am the person like the fat and tender. So I normally choose half tender and half beef. This is the best. Yeah. Um. The bubble tea. It's always my favorite. And normally when I go home, I will drink. I will take one with a pudding inside. And But with this one, it's better you put you put less sugar because pudding is a little bit sweet, and it will give you less uh, fat and bad calories. <laughs> normally, I take black tea, and after a couple of years, I was changing to green tea a little bit. And normally, we don't drink taro. Taro is uh, I tried more when I was in Melbourne or other country, but mostly in Melbourne, I try more in taro flavor. But in Taiwan, definitely I go with black tea or green tea. It's my favorite, and I was wondering if I'm gonna live somewhere outside of Taiwan. I gonna open one of these shop, but I afraid the neighbor will knock my door every day to to tell me to close the shop <laughs> because for me the smell is is pretty good because uh, I'm used to it. Like I quite love durian as well, so. I have a Japanese friend. I was working with her on the street in Taiwan, and then we passed by the the to, the tofu shop. She was like, "Oh my god, what's the smell? Of this? this is so scary!" I was like, "Ah, it's a tofu." <laughs> They have a always have a this uh, vegetable next to this tofu. You can try to put it in and eat with. It's very good. Night market. It's always like uh, our second kitchen of Taiwanese because we. I don't think that people will say we don't love night market. Like me, I for example, every time I go home, I love the night market. I quite like the food there and the shopping, and then you can play the little fish stuff. And I love the shooting stuff. <laughs> every night I will stand there for quite a while to to get my favorite toy <laughs> to bring home. <laughs> and you know the night market? It's a uh, um, the ribs in the soup. It's very famous in the Laohe. Laohe Night Market is in the in Taipei, and they have many good stuff. From the temple side, when you enter, there's a uh, Taiwanese bread stuff uh, they cook uh, in life. Oh no, they cook uh, they cook there, and then you just line on, and then you can catch one, and it's very famous, very good at the entrance. And then there's other rib shop. There's two or three rib shop inside. So normally the Shi Quan and the Mister Quan is uh, these two is a favorite shop. And me, I prefer to go to Mister Quan because it's my favorite taste of this uh, soup. And there's many stuff like uh, you know the tofu dessert in the soup as well. They put the green bean, and sometimes you can have a bubble inside, and many different stuff you can choose. It's very very delicious. Oh, the regular night sometimes, but uh, I just stay like a uh, normal. I like to go to all these uh, little shop with the uh, people. I really enjoy it so much, so it's no problem for me and. I mean, I go often. So all the mostly, if the shop uh, they recognize me, that means I went to the shop or I went to this place a lot. So they often see me. So it's not a big problem. Seven, eleven. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm that kind of person uh, who go to the shop. Uh, it's like wow, I busy. I want it, and then I buy so many. Uh, I mean, seven, eleven. I buy so many cookie. Candy drinks, you know, there's many drinks, and there's a little stuff uh, with a soup, and then you can cook some. They cook some stuff inside. That's my favorite too. And the special, 
egg cooked in the leaf, leaf water. You know, the water looks a little bit scary. I don't know if it looks scary for you or not, but for me, it's very used to it. And with the smell, I was like, ah. you know, sometimes I just want to go in and get something from this egg. So it was uh, for for me, for Taiwanese, uh, 7 Eleven is a very convenient 24 hour and you walk down your home in Taipei. It's always like a uh, three minutes away or even less than three minutes, you can find everything there. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, um, at all time we stay at the, at the traditional uh, Taiwanese uh, building. Every time if we hit this sound, we better get run, <laughs> get ready to run with a charge. <laughs> so this is a song we, how, I think how Taiwanese people when they hear, they react. Let's get ready to run! <laughs> My favorite is to fish in the stream in the city. Because the fish was too big and then they move in too much. I get too much scared. So I, I enjoy the stream uh, fishing a lot. And there's one uh, not far from the... Not, from, not far from the Taipei train station. So the quality of the water is pretty good because I have an allergy with the stream. Normally in this shop, I can eat a couple more than other shop. And the taste is different because they have a bigger stream and they have a little yellow stuff in the head. And this one is very meow meow. <laughs> and the owner of this shop, he cooked very good. So normally if you do the fashion yourself, you will clean the stream and then put the salt and put the stick on the stream and barbecue on the shop. You can do it yourself or you can ask the owner to cook a garlic a curry or some other lemon tight lemon grass uh, shrimp for you my favorite is a curry one it's very good and there's a wine is uh, with a uh, you know in Taiwan with a hot pot you can put one sauce called a uh, sacha sacha sauce so he cook with a sacha sauce this one is really good too Bye.